remain a uh, a, a deficit to Saudi Arabia, and and also since corn is an export of the United States, uh, is it an artificial bump in price uh, profitable for the nation as a whole? Well, first of all, you have to know how uh, corn is sold. Corn, uh, you know, there's it's a regulated price scheme, and the reason is is because the government, uh, you know, has its arm in farming. You know, I mean. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what the statistic is for farming subsidies. I know it's fairly high, but you know, just because the prices of corn are high, doesn't necessarily mean that it relates to profits to the corn farmer out there in uh, Middle America. You know, and secondly, how can you sit here and, and argue the fact that it's hey, we need a local renewable energy source that can be an actual alternative to petroleum uh, when it's food, man. It's it's things that people eat. I mean, people got to eat to survive. I mean, burning food so that we can, you know, gas our gas guzzlers through an alternative energy source, I think that's pretty pompous, liberal, and jerky, don't you think? I mean, I mean, this is why we've got a lot of people, uh, you know, kind of holding back at the grocery store because the goddamn corn is up the ass, and the reason is is our tax dollars. Capitalist tax dollars are paying to subsidize this ridiculous ethanol concept. I mean, don't you think that's don't you think that's nuts a little bit? Um, it would if we had if we had a food problem. And I'm not saying we'll never have a food problem, but currently we are a nation of fat people. Uh, and and you you can yeah, but but you see, you know, you're only think of it one sided. All right. Uh, the world depends on a lot of our commodities, for Christ's sake. The world depends upon a lot of our exports, especially when it comes to agriculture. You know, the, the, the one thing I'd like to tell uh, young people, hey, if you have no skill whatsoever, if you don't understand all this complicated financial mumbo-jumbo, if you don't understand capitalism, if you're kind of a dummy, well, then by God, at least save enough money to go out and get yourself a hoe, and I'm not talking about that kind of hoe, like some skankosaurus. I'm talking about a hoe to hoe some fields and get yourself a crop of land and just start uh, producing crops, you know, and the profitable ones, the ones that aren't highly regulated by the government. You know, I mean, let me tell you something. These commodities are uh, – they're not just for American consumption, all right? They're, they're for world consumption. They're not just for American consumption. So – when we as selfish Americans, and let me tell you, this is pretty selfish of America to subsidize this goddamn corn ethanol idea. It is ridiculous that we're burning food so that we can fill up our gas guzzlers, and we're subsidizing it with taxpayer money. Subsidizing it with taxpayer money. It makes no sense. And uh, to be completely honest with you, man, I mean, I just think that you're you're, you're out there when you say that, uh, you know, hey. I, you know, America's fat, so as a result, we can continue to burn food. Look, I agree with you. America's fat, but it's not because we have an abundance of food. America's fat because we're giving them food cards. We're giving them government cheese. We're giving them housing voucher programs. We're giving them all these entitlements so that the bigger loser they are, the more entitlements that they get. And all they have to do is basically sit on their ass and watch every little television program or sit on their fat ass and chat on the Internet all, all 24 hours of the day, do all this crap on the American government's dime, because that's what America has turned into, for Christ's sake. I mean, get this, get him, get him off, for Christ's sake. Get this stupid kid off, for Christ's sake. You can tell he's got some liberal mammy or something telling him, well, I can tell him about this shit. <laughs> Supposed to be talking about Barack Obama recognizing the Muslim Brotherhood in, in, in Egypt, for Christ's sake. But let me move on to something else, all right? Let's move on to Minnesota. That's right, Minnesota. Do you all know anybody from Minnesota? Uh, anyway, uh, Minnesota government, the state Minnesota government has shut down. That's right, right before July 4th weekend, Minnesota decided that it is going to shut down because uh, they're having a, a similar debate that the federal government is having. You know, uh, you have the right wing and the left wing of the political 
spectrum in Minnesota wanting to take the state government in the two different directions. You've got the liberals, of course, wanting to spend more and more money. And how are they going to get that money? How do the liberals expect to get more money when they're obligating more and more expenditures? Taxes, baby. They want to tax us. They want to tax us, baby. And I don't want to be taxed anymore, for Christ's sake. And, of course, you've got those on the right wing of the perspective sitting over here saying that they want to cut, they want to do this, they want to balance the budget. And uh, because these uh, scumbags out there in Minnesota state legislature, they can't come up to any kind of agreement uh, right now as we speak, Minnesota, uh, the government of Minnesota, is no longer up and running right now. The parks have shut down. Uh, you know, everything that has anything to do with government funding has completely shut down in Minnesota. And, uh, you know, it's some serious business that's happening out there. Uh, if there's anybody in Minnesota, I'd like for you to please, uh, you know, try to give me a call. Let me know what's going on out there. I know that this is, uh, you know, affecting the entire state. You know, they've shut down lakes. They've shut down parks. They've shut down public libraries. Uh, 22,000 uh, state workers are out of work, from what I understand, for Christ's sake. 22,000 out of work because these scumbags in Minnesota can't uh, can come up to a goddamn agreement on how to take the uh, state government's finances, for Christ's sake. But, hey, this is bureaucracy, all right, for all you leftists that are out there. This is bureaucracy, and you see, that's the leftists' answer uh, when their debate against capitalism is ever initiated. They want more of this. They want more government. They want more bureaucratic crap. It's stupid, for Christ's sake. Let me let me take some more callers here. 646-652-4869. We got 775 on the horn. What's up? You're on the air. Uh, hey, uh, Ghost. Uh, I'm, I'm actually in Minnesota right now, and... Uh... You know, I'm, I've seen how things are. It's it's quite ridiculous because I got I got three kids and uh, they they want to go to the park but they can't do it. It's it's closed. So uh, you know, next you know the libraries all closed, and they say the reason why is because you're a racist. Yeah, well, I, I knew you weren't from Minnesota because uh, I can just tell. You know what I mean? I can just tell by the goddamn little twang that you got in your voice that it's about that time to play everybody's favorite game, and it's guess. from Germany. Oh, uh, you're from Germany, huh? Well, how can you call me a racist? I mean, you know, don't you have like a whole uh, lineage of racism? Well, Schlager, Schliegen, Schlagen, Volkswagen? Well, yeah, that's actually why I called you, because I also heard you were a Jew, so I thought you'd like to check out my oven. Oh, you stupid idiot. You know, so, 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 so what is it? Am I a racist? Am I a Jew? I mean, what, what am I, you stupid crowd? Well, well, actually, I'd like to know what, what the whole uh, deal with that is. I mean, why, why is the inter uh, Internet taking a sudden interest to your show and uh, everyone calls you? And, uh, you, you know, I, I'm curious, actually. I mean, I, I just called because uh, I, I've heard about it. I mean, uh, uh, you want to know why everybody has taken an interest to True Capitalist Radio? I'll tell you why, Mr. Slogger, Schlagen, Slogan, Volkswagen. I'll tell you why, all right? Everybody throughout the world that's listening in understands that capitalism, capitalism is what spawns success. They understand that they want to be capitalists no matter where they are in the world. And that's what I give the individuals who listen to this broadcast. Not only do I give them a leg up on capitalism, but I'm also a, you know, a decent commentator for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got balls the size of grapefruits that'll slap your wife in her chin back into reality to recognize that she's actually with some stupid goof and she might need to kick him in the ass to get his goddamn balls to drop. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, I, that's all I'm saying, all right? I mean, a lot of people appreciate True Capitalist Radio. A lot of people appreciate this man right here. And the reason that they, re they appreciate this man right here 
I mean, just just listen to me for Christ's sake. I mean, just listen to me. I mean, I'm just I'm throwing around manly dominance on this broadcast like it ain't shit. I mean, are you kidding me? Uh, you know, German, you know, Kraut, I, I hope that your wife is not anywhere around the vicinity of this broadcast. Because I guarantee you that this bimbo is putting about two or three fingers in her pink taco listening to my voice because she can't believe. She cannot believe that there is a real man asserting manly dominance on the Internet like it ain't crap. And she's in complete freaking awe. She's in complete freaking awe about it. All right? That's why people are listening here, there, crowd. Are you there? Yeah, yes, I'm still here. All right. What, what else do you have to say? Um, well, 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 you say that, yeah. Um, uh, but you see, uh, my wife, she she doesn't speak English. She's actually a uh, Czechoslovakian. I, I don't even understand. Oh, oh so, you, so you had to, like, uh, you know, go to one of those mail-order wife type of things, so... You couldn't get yourself some kraut woman that'll actually, you know, whack on your your Polish sausage or oh, that's right, German sausage. Excuse me. <laughs> well, well, you see, you see, in Europe we actually um, we have a melting pot. In America, you claim to have a melting uh, melting pot. H- however, um, you see, uh, the big problem is you don't understand other cultures. You're very wait, 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 wait. hold on, Mr. Kraut. All right, you're you're talking about a melting pot. Uh, Germany and France are single-handedly letting Europe fall on its own socialist sword so that they can come in and buy the rest of Europe. What, what France and Germany have been trying to battle for thousands of years, these people are doing it with these dumb bailouts. What are you talking about, a melting pot of... Uh, yeah, you don't have a melting pot over there in Europe. Yeah, I mean, you've got a, a subliminal war going out there, you dumb kraut. What are you talking about, man? Well, why do you think that the Germans and the French continuously bail out these stupid loser countries that continue with this social experiment? Because they're buying the countries. They are buying the countries. I know that there's people in here that don't believe that's true. Well, you know, keep thinking that, and then once, uh, you know, you start seeing uh, crowds over there start, uh, you know, just opening up shop, uh, you know, acting like they own the place, it's because they do. So don't give me that that melting pot crap there, you stupid crap. Get this crowd off my damn off, for Christ's sake. He's probably got a damn picture of Adolf Hitler staring at his dumb, ugly mug right now. What the hell are you talking about, for Christ's sake? Look, slogan, 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 look on the slogan, Volkswagen. Give me a break. Jesus Christ, I mean, what's going on here, for Christ's sake? You know what I mean? I mean, wh- wh- where am I being broadcasted to, for Christ's sake? I mean, I used to be broadcasted to tens of thousands of capitalists throughout the world. And now, uh, what, I'm, what am I getting? I'm getting socialist krauts up in here? Jesus Christ. Six four six six five two four eight six nine is the number to call. We're supposed to be talking about the Minnesota government shutting down because they got a five billion dollar budget deficit that they've got to solve. And of course, the leftists of that particular state legislature want to increase taxes and not cut spending. And of course, the right wing of that particular Minnesota state legislature wants to cut spending and not raise taxes. And this is why you have a government shutdown because these stupid idiots cannot come up to it with an agreement. And I want to hear from you. What do you got to say about it? 646-652-4869 is the number to call, for Christ's sake. Uh, do we got any callers, engineer? What's going on? All right, well, let's go ahead and take some calls then, man. Uh, who else we got? We got 630. You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. This is Bebop from Chicago. I called a couple of days ago to talk about the TSA, and I got cut off yeah. by trolls. No, what's going on? Uh, not too much, actually. I was going to share a story on here, and I still will if you're okay with that, but I went to uh, the BBC, actually, with my story about the TSA, and now I'm actually getting threats of a treason charge from uh, American lawyers. Are you kidding me? I'm not. Do you have it, a website or do you have a blog or something we can see this? I don't. Um, I'm actually, I've been told to get one. 
and I'm thinking about doing that. But I went to the BBC, and they're very interested. 